pools of water are growing in a city-sanctioned homeless site that flooded last year in Red Bluff. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper is live at Dog Island Park. So Lauren, is there any concern the area will flood again this time around? Yeah, absolutely, Alan. That is on the minds of, of a lot of people who live here. They're pretty nervous about that, especially with all of the rain that we've been getting. Since I was last here just a few days ago, the puddle in the middle of the park has nearly doubled in size. And so have the concerns of the people who live here. I spoke with one man who needs a wheelchair to get around. He tells me he's made plans for an evacuation route in case the Sacramento River, River levels become dangerous. I can't move that fast, so I have to have an escape route if I am going to get out of here, you know, if the water does come up. But I guess this area floods, um, that's my concern, this area floods first, and I am up on the hill, so I'm just waiting. But as soon as this area starts to flood, I will try to get out of here. I spoke with city council member Cody Strock, who tells me the city's only plan for the homeless in case of another flood is for them to move their tents and belongings up to the parking lot here. And that homeless man that you just heard from tells me on Monday, Red Bluff police were down there advising him and other people about the rising water levels and telling them that they can temporarily move up to the parking lot. But Gallego tells me it's not an easy task, especially because of his disability. I'll have more from the city coming up at five. Live in Red Bluff, I'm Lauren Cooper with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. You know, Lauren, you've covered this story a number of times. You've been there several times. How many people would you say are actually camping and living out there? Yeah, there's quite a few. According to Strzok, he says there's about 60 people living here at Dog Island Park. Thank you, Lauren. We'll hear from the city more coming up on Action News Now at 5.